Hello and welcome back. We're not going to have a presentation on data information and knowledge, which is part of the Project Information Management Systems course. We're going to show you the relationship between data information and knowledge and why it's important to fully understand the purpose of information management. Usually, we represent that as a triangle where we have the base and data at the bottom, information at the middle, and knowledge at the top. So it's practically a process of constructing data to information and to knowledge. So first, let's understand what is data. Data represents unorganized and unprocessed facts. That is a static in nature. It represents a discrete facts about events. That is a prerequisite for information that's important. An organization sometimes has to decide on the nature and volume data that is required for creating the necessary information. So that is our information. That is what we understand about what is data. An example is a recipe for a birthday cake. The data will be the number of ingredients we need for the cake. All we have are values and numbers, but not the cake, just ingredients. Let's see now information. Information is data with context. Information can be considered as an aggregation of data, processed data, which makes decision making easier. Information usually has some meaning and a purpose, and is also data in action. That is our definition of information. In the example of the birthday cake, information will be the recipe from a chef master that will be used to make the cake. It is a set of detailed instructions that tell us how to make a cake from a book or a video. So here we have, we work on that, based on that information, we are working and producing our birthday cake. We now have information. Now knowledge. Knowledge is usually based on learning, action, thinking, and proper understanding of the problem area. It is action, thinking, learning. Knowledge is not information, information is not data. That is important to recognize. Knowledge is derived from information in the same way information is derived from data. Knowledge is experience and helps draw meaningful conclusions. That is our definition of knowledge. Let's go back to our birthday cake example. The knowledge is what we experience once we make our first cake. It might not be perfect, but now we know, and the more we try, the better it will get. Knowledge is experience. And see, we tried, we have our first cake. Yeah, that's good, very good, but it's, now we have the experience, we have gone through that process. Knowledge. But what if the cake went wrong? Well, we can go back to our data, we can go back to the information, review it, we can ask other people, we can ask the chef, the people who wrote it, we can get advice, we make changes and we try again, so that now our second try will be better. And that is important because we're building on the experience of that knowledge. Let's look now how the chart below shows the relationships between data information and knowledge from the levels of connections and understanding. This is a chart from Ross Alpha, and here's an information of where you can look for more of that. Data will be a lower level in terms of connection and understanding. Very little connection, no understanding. Information is has more connections and a better understanding. And on the top, you have knowledge, where you have high connections and a high level of understanding. In some cases, there is even a fourth level called wisdom, which is knowing the right things to do and the ability to make sound judgments based on decisions. All of these components mostly deal with the past. Everything you've done, the data you collected, the information you capture and analyze it, and the knowledge and experience you gain. Wisdom deals with the future, meaning now that I know, how can I use that knowledge and experience to make future decisions and changes and modifications to my plans and to my actions. I'm going to leave you with this little poem from T.S. Eliot that says, Where is the life we have lost in the living? Where is the wisdom we have lost in the knowledge? And where is the knowledge we have lost in information? Thank you for your attention, and we'll see you back in class.